Pay attention, Professor David here. She on Kenny once again, part two of the video. So I hope you watch the first one. If you did not watch the first one, go back and watch the first part, guys, so you understand what we're doing. Now we're gonna go right into the second part of alternating hands of stick to hand. We're using an edge weapon. We all understand by now, hope you watch enough of our videos that you do understand the Ten Commandments of Self-Defense. And you understand the Ten Commandments of Self-Defense. If you don't know the Ten Commandments of Self-Defense and it's your first time joining us, go and find my video, the Ten Commandments of Self-Defense, okay? In that Ten Commandments of Self-Defense, one of them is called motion causes motion. And let me tell you why it's so important. Because no one's going to let you do anything to them. So now, utilizing once again, the alternating hands. If I was to strike at Kenny's face, he's going to block. He's going to motion to block that motion or grab that hand. That's instinctive. No one wants to get cut. So how does that serve me? Normally, watch what will happen. I will see it and I will pull my knife back. So now, all I did was pull my knife back. But if Kenny see my knife coming back and he's coming towards me, he could just continue to come at me. I don't want that. I don't want that man coming at me like this. So if I do normally what normal, what people who are untrained will do, and everyone will do it because everyone wants to hold on to their knife. Everybody wants to hold on to the power, to the heart, to what they think is going to make them successful, to the weapon. So, they're going to pull back. If I stabbed at his stomach and he tried to grab it, I'm going to pull back. That's natural. So you're afraid of him taking it from you. But if you understand the power of alternating hands, what I just showed you in video one, you don't have to worry about getting your weapon taken from you. You execute alternating hands. One with the right, he goes to grab it. One with the left. And notice the footwork is the same. One with the right, one with the left. When I was using the sticks, with one with the right, one with the left. One with the right, one with the left. Two with the right, two. You notice the footwork. So now by me doing that footwork, when I go from here, with the power to attack him, and I see what he's doing, I alternate. Now my weapon is back here, where if I would do this and this, he would came at me, and my body would not be in the way. Kenny can actually close this gap. Mm -hmm. But because I alternate, one with the right, one with the left, now my body is here, and the weapon is back here. Now I could strike with this, and then utilize the weapon. Okay, so alternating hands. One with the right, one with the left. Two with the right, two with the left. Three with the right, three with the left. Four with the right, four with the left. Five with the right, five with the left. You notice how I'm just keep switching my body from right side to left side. Weapon retention. It not only works with an edge weapon, guys, but it also works with a firearm. So now, if I pull my firearm out, and I have my firearm, and I was sticking my firearm at him, and he went to grab my firearm, you see that? I see the motion. So instinctively, I want to pull back. But what good is this to me if I don't have anything blocking? He's going to continue to come in. Now we're going to fight for this knife. For the gun, I mean. No, I don't want to fight for the gun. I got to put something between me and the weapon and the gun. So if I see him move towards it, once again, I alternate the hands and put my body. Now he tries to come and rush me, I'll move and boom, boom, shoot while I'm moving. Because I understand the power of alternating the hands. So when I see him reach, motion causes motion. This motion causes that motion. So let me slow it down. This motion 
caused him to raise his hands up and do that motion. That motion causes me to do this motion. So now, this motion causes that motion, that motion causes this motion. And now I'm in position for right here to utilize my hand and give me an opportunity then to shoot. That's why it is very powerful and you really want to know, you really want to understand the power of the alternate in hands, okay? And you, some of you who were saying, but what if he grabbed the weapon? So if he grabbed my gun, and now we're struggling for the gun, instead of me fighting for the gun with both of my hands, fight him off, I understand. He grabbed my hand, he won with the right. Guys, the other hand is available. One with the left. One with the right, one with the left. Rake his eyes. I still alternate my hands. I still don't rely on just pulling it back. I, as soon as he touched me, I bring the other hand into the picture. Automatically. No matter what happens, automatically, I bring the other hand into the picture. One last thing I want to show you with it. And you're saying, okay, well, hold on, I get all that. I get the stick, I get the hand, I get the knife, I get the gun. But what if it's just like this? How do I use alternating hands with nothing? Same way. If I'm attacking him, the same way you punch right and left. Guys, anybody ever hurt you from here without a gun? Anybody hurt you from this distance without a gun? No. They got to break the three-foot rule. He got to break the three-foot rule and get in your face. And most people got to deal with this. This is hard. But if you understand alternating hands, when he's coming in, you check. He's not going to allow you to do this. He's not going to allow you to leave this there. Nobody wants a hand, a strange hand on their body. So he's going to remove it. Trust me, he's not going to punch you in the face. He's going to move the hand for us, then punch you in the face. Because that's what he wants to do. So now when he goes to move the hand, I alternate the hands again. So instead of me doing this, and no man, get, get back. And then now it's a fight. I check. He reacts to the check. I react to what his reaction was by alternating the hands. And now I'm free to do what I need to do to take care of this man. Alternating hands. Anybody try to get in your space, guys? Just check. He's gonna move your hand, and when he do, you alternate the hands and check with the other hand. Right now, look at his body mechanics and his positioning. I am free now with this hand to change the focus. Now he can't see where I'm going next. Change the focus, utilize now what we call the high-low concept, Step on the back of the ankle or change the focus, blast the shin out, then step on the kneecap and then step on the ankle. And I'm out. Guys, I'm doing this slowly because I'm not trying to impress you on how fast I can move. I'm trying to break it down so you could understand the benefits of what we're trying to show you. Take your time, guys. Watch it again and again and again and every time you watch it can you tell them what to do guys if you found value in this video you know what it is guys hit that subscribe button right now smash that subscribe button guys we will see you in the next video peace thank you